I feel like I would like to be a comedian, but every time I sit down to write jokes, they always end up being about poop. Here, just go back, 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 back. back. Hey, how's it going everybody? Dan here from Mandoreen, and today we're going to be looking at some of my favorite YouTubers, that's right, H3H3 H3 Productions, and we're going to be doing a kind of top 10 facts about them. Uh, I'm not going to promise any laughs, gaffs, romps, or riots, but I hope you do enjoy. If you do, I'll remember to hit that subscribe button, remember to smash that like button, and without further ado, let's get right into the news. <laughs> Perhaps the most famous of all H3 catchphrases is from the end of their video intro, when Michelle Obama says, Wow, Ethan, great moves. Keep it up. Proud of you. Well, believe it or not, Michelle wasn't actually talking to Ethan here. With a little bit of digging, I was able to find the video was actually a Vine posted by the White House's official account. Wow, Ethan, great moves. Keep it up. Proud of you. Now the post shows Michelle Obama just like in the video, and it says, show us your moves using hashtag let's move, and the first lady might give you a shout out. Now the hashtag let's move comes from the name of a program developed by first lady Michelle Obama to solve the epidemic of childhood obesity within a generation. After being fat shamed at the water park and starting a FUPA loss challenge series, we can only assume that Ethan is involved in this movement. That being said, enjoy the chub and tucks while you still can. Ela Klein was born on December 12, 1985, making her a Sagittarius. Meanwhile, Ethan was born on June 24th of 1985, making him a Cancer, much like Leafy's videos. <laughs> Now, one on one of these websites that talks about the signs says here uh, about the Sagittarius woman and Cancer man love compatibility. How compatible are they? This can be a difficult match to maintain for the Sagittarius woman is carefree and loves to travel while the Cancer man is emotional and likes to stay home. It will take a lot of understanding on his part to accept his partner's habits. Both zodiac signs will have to compromise for this relationship to survive. If you ask me, that's the complete opposite of the characters we see in their videos. Of course, people in their real life can be different off screen. Once again, this is just a bullshit website. <laughs> so. A lot of people are still wondering what H3H3 means and where the name came from. Well, actually, quite a while back, Ethan and Ela answered this in one of their FAQ videos. And I'll put that clip right here. What does H3H3 mean? It started as our initials. H-E-H-E -E is what we initially started because Ela's name is Ela Hackman and my middle name is Edward, so it was Ethan Edward. So just E-E-H-H -H, and we said, hey, he, he. And uh, it was taken on YouTube, so we just put H3H3. In May 2016, they uploaded a video titled, We're Being Sued. In the video, they explained that fellow YouTuber and parkour artist <laughs> Matt Haas, aka Bold Guy, was suing them for one of their reaction videos claiming copyright infringement, and they said this lawsuit could cost them up to $100,000. Being the stand-up people they are, they did not ask anybody for money to help them with this. Instead, the video went viral, getting millions of views overnight. It was covered by Drama Alert, Scares, and veteran YouTuber Philip DeFranco Franco of the Philip DeFranco show also did a video about it and he decided to start a Kickstarter campaign with 5,000 of his own dollars to help with Ethan and Ela's legal fees. And the third and last thing is that this is a much bigger deal than just H3H3 H3 Productions. This is a huge case on fair use and YouTubers in general. And in Ethan's video he says that you know this could bankrupt them, it could ruin them, but he doesn't want to ask you know anyone for money. Just thank you for all the support. We can't ask you guys for more money. 
all we can say is thank you so much for all the love and support you guys have given us. Fuck that, this is a huge deal, which is why as of recording this video, I am starting a GoFundMe to raise money for Ethan's defense. Also as a way to get the ball rolling, I'm putting $5,000 of my own personal money into this fund to get things started. YouTube really came together on this issue. Even Leafy and Keemstar donated to this fair use case and it sparked a bigger discussion about this. And out of this, the fair use protection account, AKA FUPA was formed with the excess money that was donated. Currently, the lawsuit with H3H3 versus Bold Guy is still going on, but even in that time, Fupa's been able to help countless other YouTubers. At this time, I feel it would be appropriate to give a shout out to Mr. Ryan Morrison, who's the video game attorney, who has been providing legal advice to Ethan and Ela even before this case came about. I'll put a link to his website and Twitter down in the description. Many people have asked the question, what is up with Ethan's eyebrows? Now, Ethan actually suffers from Tourette's Syndrome, and that's what makes him have these kind of bizarre facial movements and twitchy eyebrows. I know a lot of people think that Tourette's is like when you swear really loud for no reason, but that's actually a, a lot less common form of Tourette's, and the kind that Ethan has is the more common kind, and it kind of makes him uh, move his face around in funny ways. Now also during college, Ethan suffered from crippling anxiety where he said he felt like he was high all the time. Even though he wasn't taking any drugs, he just felt so strange just trying to talk to people. And he said that his own reflection in the mirror had caused him such displeasure that at one point he decided to stop looking in the mirror for s between six months to a year. I said, you know what? Every time I look in the mirror, Every time I see a picture of myself, it fucking ruins my day. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stop looking in the mirror and I'm just gonna mm -hmm. stop looking at pictures of myself. And for like six months to a year straight, I stopped just fucking looking at myself because I knew it made me feel bad. And after that year, mm -hmm. I didn't give a fuck. The reason they began filming videos in part was because Ela's brother Moses had gifted them a camcorder and Ela was taking a film class in college and a lot of people were making just bizarre films, uh, they talk about it a little bit in a video, and Ela decided to make Ethan the subject of a lot of her films and had Ethan do a lot of bizarre things and because of Ethan's influence from Tim and Eric at the time, uh, that really shined through and was one of his early influences in the kind of content they were putting out. Ethan and Ela are married, but that does not stop the comments section from coming up with conspiracies and jokes about the couple. Now, some people say that Ethan and Ela are actually brother and sister. Uh, they've denied that many times. They've even joked about it, and there's also pictures of their wedding. Um, so, I don't really think that's a true conspiracy, it's more of a joke. And there's also another joke that uh, Ethan is mentally challenged and that Ela is his caretaker. So, that one's a little more believable. Before YouTube, Ethan studied English literature at the University of California in Santa Cruz. His mother always wanted him to be a teacher, but he ended up working as a marketing executive for some time before ultimately deciding to pursue YouTube. Right here in this building, my first office job ever, I sat my ass in that building for five years. This is the dude that used to greet me every fucking day, okay? Some depressed ass guy with a suitcase who's made of paper. He's brittle, he's not gonna make it through another day, he's this close to disintegrating. This is what they put me to greet me every fucking day? Please guys, please, okay? On the other hand, Ela was serving in the Israeli army when she met Ethan who was just visiting Israel. And strangely enough, the two actually met at the Yad Vashem Holocaust Museum. Now, if this had happened several years later, they could have been playing Pokemon Go and maybe they never would have met each other, so you never know. Ethan's mother admitted, Ethan's mother admitted to smoking cannabis with Ethan's father out of bongs and joints and eating a lot of Carl's Jr. while pregnant with Ethan. Now this would explain a lot to the fans. 
also explains why she referred to DJ Khaled as TJ Collins. Now, for more information on this story, make sure to stay tuned to Drama Alert. There'll be more details coming out later from Killer Keemstar. We have to refine this meme, replicate it through repetition, and spread it through society. So, if you made it to number 10, honestly, I'm surprised this video is about as cancerous as they come. But anyways, here's number 10 because I really couldn't think of a 10th one. And I'm just going to read it verbatim from the script I wrote. The H3H3 universe stretches beyond the walls of H3H3 Productions' YouTube channel. Ethan and Ela also run a second channel called Ethan and Ela. Recently, they announced they would shift their efforts to put more videos on their main channel and focus less on the second channel. They have continued to upload on both channels, stating that Ethan and Ela will continue to be active and may feature more gaming videos. Did you know that Ethan has collaborated with lots of other well-known YouTubers, including Filthy Frank, John Tron, The Needle Droop, Frank Javsey, and Poodapoo. Poo. Ela even worked as a producer for John Tron in August 2016 to make some extra cash. Ethan also lent his voice to do the popular Did You Know Gaming series video on The Simpsons' hit and run video game. H3H3 also has their own subreddit, full of the dankest memes and fashions to keep you fresh all year round, and that can be found at Bing! They're a very active fan base on Tumblr as well. I run a shitty fan blog where I steal other people's content. You can find that at h3h4.tumblr.com. In researching this video, I also discovered a Wikia page dedicated to rare information about the comedy duo. That's here, and I'm, I'm just done with this video, guys. I know this sucked. I'm so sorry. Just leave a dislike, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.